So, this slide is about the introduction to the course and the aim of the course. So, the idea of the course is that we have been solving a system of linear equations all right in two equations in two unknowns, three equations in three unknowns till our school days. We also learned determinant, what are inverse matrices and so on. But what we would like to do here is that we would like to give it a proper framework all right. So, in place of solving a system of equation in two variables, two unknowns, two equations and so on, we would like to look at a general setup what is called A x is equal to B all right. So, what we would like is that our matrix A will be m cross n, x is n cross 1 and this is a vector of unknowns of unknowns and B is also given to us it is of size m cross 1 fine. So, A is given B is given we want to find x such that A x is equal to B fine. Now, so, to understand this we need to know what is a matrix. So, we need to know need to know what is a matrix and then we are multiplying. So, we are multiplying A with x in some sense. So, we should know what is called matrix multiplication. multiplication we need to know this. We also further need to know that when I look at the system say 3 x is equal to 5 then we know that x is equal to 5 by 3 is a solution. So, in some sense what we are saying is that x is equal to 3 inverse time 5 or 3 inverse means reciprocal of 3 reciprocal of 3 or what is called inverse of 3 fine. So, in a similar sense we need to talk of what is called inverse of a matrix So, it turns out that we can talk of inverse of a matrix being unique and making our work easy is when A is an n cross n matrix all right. So, when A is a n cross n matrix that is it is a square matrix we can talk of inverse of the matrix fine. So, once we understand these things we proceed with the solution set. So, in the process what we learn is the first thing that we learn is what is called a matrix A being written as L times U where L is a n cross n matrix u is also an n cross n matrix, but then they have some special properties what are called L is called a lower triangular matrix and u is called an upper triangular matrix. And so, what we are trying to say is for example, L the matrix looks like lower I am saying. So, it will look like 1 0 0 0 minus 1 0 2 4 5. So, the upper part is nothing but it consists of 0 here and you will have the rest a separate thing here which will look like here 2 5 7 0 minus 1 minus 5 0 0 2. All right. So, here the 0 will be here as such all right. So, this is what we are going to look at. So, the first thing that we are going to look at when I solve a system try to write the matrix A as L u fine. The next we would like to look at is what is called the rank factorization of A. So, A is equal to B times C. So, for me A is going to be an m cross n matrix and there is a notion of what is called rank of A. So, rank of A is R if I say it has some connotation some definition. So, let us not worry about it. So, rank of A is R then I can write matrix A as a matrix of size m cross R and C of R cross n and it turns out that this rank of B is same as rank of C is R. So, this is the two things that we would like to know 
from a system of equations, then we would like to increase our difficulty level and see can we do it better in the sense that these uh, things give us a solution which are unique, exact and things like that. But most of the questions that we come across does not have a solution or sometimes if it has, it is very difficult to find those solutions. So, we would like to look at approximate solutions and they are the notions of what are called factorizing A. So, this was our 2, third is writing A as Q times R is important. So, again M is this M cross N, Q will be something like M cross R and R is less than equal to M. This is R cross N again, but the important thing here is that Q has the property that Q transpose Q which is an R cross R matrix is identity. So, in some sense Q behaves as a orthogonal matrix. So, this is the third task that we are going to have. The fourth task that we are going to have in this course is what are called eigenvalues eigenvectors, trying to understand eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So, this idea leads us to what is called writing a matrix A, which is a square matrix as say S D S inverse, where S is a non singular matrix. and D is a diagonal matrix. In general, this is not possible for every matrix A, but what is possible is that we can write as this as say U T U transpose, where U is what is called a unitary matrix and T is upper triangular. So, this is possible for every matrix U, there is no problem as such here, fine. So, given any matrix A, I can write like this, what is called a Schur's theorem, all right. And then the last thing that we would like to do in this course is given that we have a matrix A, which is M cross N, we would like to write it as U sigma V transpose, U and V are unitary matrices. the sizes are meaningful and this sigma is called the singular values of A, which are related with what are called eigen values of A, A transpose or A transpose A whatever you want to say. So, they are related with this. So, that is the aim of the course. The aim of the course is first to understand matrices, matrix multiplication, invertibility, go on to understand A equal to L u, A equal to B c, A equal to Q r and then the two related with eigenvalues eigenvectors. That is the aim of the course. Thank you.